I'm with Dieter Brun, a famous scientist known as being part of the Manhattan Project and now concerned with the problems facing the world with overproduction of electricity. And he has been developing a new kind of photocell which will solve the problem if we're fortunate. Dieter, tell us about it. Well, we are a society that uses enormous amounts of energy in order to continue the way of life that we enjoy leading and would like to continue uh, to lead and not allow future generations to uh, suffer the consequences of a warming planet that we know will very significantly affect our way of life. So we are turning to the sun to provide uh, the energy that we require. And today, um, photovoltaic production of electricity using sunlight is already uh, making 600 gigawatts of energy and is capable of furnishing us with all of the power that we require for the indefinite future. If we could generate electricity from the sun more efficiently than uh, currently, today the conversion efficiency is 15 or 20 percent, but theoretically we could convert 86 percent of the energy and sunlight to electricity. So the discovery of graphene a few years ago uh, presented us with a unique new material that absorbs the entire solar spectrum and does so with uh, uh, very uh, small amounts of material because graphene has the unique uh, ability to interact with uh, sunlight in a uh, very, very important way that allows it to function as a photoactive material. And the work that I have done recently demonstrates this uh, practicability, I have developed a solar cell that has an open circuit voltage of 2.4 volts, which is four times the voltage of silicon. So that if one can uh, obtain currents of the same magnitude as silicon cells, then one would have a single junction photocell a photovoltaic cell with four times the conversion efficiency and that would lower the cost of solar electricity uh, by a very substantial uh, amount and so make it very economically attractive to generate electricity uh, by photovoltaic means. So that is uh, the effort that I am engaged in, and um, uh, uh, there is every expectation that this can be accomplished. Okay? Have you got any sense of the time scale? What are the next? Steps? The time scale for doing this will depend very much on the effort that is devoted to it. At the moment, it is a small scale effort. And I hope that one of the results of uh, this uh, presentation is that uh, people will become interested and uh, make sure that that effort can be expanded. It uh, will require um, investment and uh, people, uh, when they begin to understand what the uh, capabilities will be of this new development, will uh, be willing to support it and e expand the effort so the length of time required for the full development of this 
will depend very much on the magnitude of the effort that is being put into it. From the point of view of the scientific, not the implementation, and the technological development, but the scientific understanding of things, is it understood completely now? Or are there things that have to be solved? Yes, uh, there are still uh, technological things that have to be solved. Um, this is an entirely new approach to photovoltaics and um, the fundamental aspects are understood, but to uh, produce uh, cells on a scale necessary to uh, affect energy production is not um, been demonstrated uh, because uh, it involves um, aspects of the implementation of nano science on a large scale, which is largely an engineering problem uh, that must be solved on an engineering scale and will require uh, substantial uh, inputs of um, kinds of engineering technology that have not yet been perfected. I'm going to ask a, perhaps a rather silly question, but you experienced the scale of the Manhattan Project. You're now thinking about the scale of creating this photovoltaic way of creating power for the world. Is, um, is it a comparable problem as the Manhattan Project? or a smaller one than the Manhattan one? Well, it's probably a larger project than the Manhattan Project because it affects the entire globe. Uh, we're using energy on a vast scale. And um, so uh, even today in the United States, uh, there are more jobs in, in the solar industry than in the coal industry. And uh, many people don't realize that. So uh, in order to implement photovoltaics on the kind of global scale that we're talking about right now, clearly it will involve the creation of uh, uh, many, many jobs. And many people will be able to profit from this development in terms of having opportunities for uh, work for many, many years. Uh, one has to build plants on a very large scale. Um, these uh, are not uh, uh, simple uh, uh, problems to solve in a laboratory, but they're going to involve the creation of entirely new kinds of industries, manufacturing industries. With good paying jobs, yes. Is there anything you want to add before we turn off the camera? Well, um, I believe, and this is my opinion, that we must do this on a relatively short time scale. Um, because if we continue generating energy we, uh, as we do today by burning fossil fuels for another 20 years, that is my opinion, we will reach a stage of uh, climate change that we cannot reverse because it is um, a, uh, a feedback process that will feed on itself, and when we reach a certain stage, it will just continue uh, without our being able to do anything about it. So this is a very critical period in our history. Uh, again, this is uh, my opinion, but I think it is backed up by uh, a great deal of uh, scientific um, support that we must mount a very large effort very quickly in order to be able to cope 
with a problem that could uh, overwhelm all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay.